In this lesson, you will create a regular expression that extracts the individual words from a piece of text. To begin, open the Textland project from your Sample Files folder. and view regularexpressions.aspx in your web browser. Now first, you are going to create a regular expression that searches for any character that is not a space. In the regular expression box, enter begin square brackets, caret, space, and square brackets. Now click Test Regular Expression, and as you can see, this regular expression matches every character except for a space. Placing a caret in square brackets matches every character except for the characters that you specify in the square brackets. For example, to match any character that is not a number, you could use begin square brackets, caret, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, end square brackets. Next, you're going to modify the regular expression to return words instead of individual characters. Simply add a plus sign to the end of your regular expression. Now test the expression again, and now, each individual word is matched. You've used the plus special character before, in Lesson 11.1. The plus special character matches one or more consecutive instances of the previous item in the regular expression. In this case, it will match one or more instances of characters that are not spaces. Next, you're going to modify the regular expression to only return words that are five letters long. Change the regular expression to begin square brackets, caret, space, end square brackets, begin curly brackets, five, end curly brackets. By using a number in curly brackets, you can specify the number of characters that you want to match. Test the regular expression now, and you can see that this isn't quite what you wanted. The regular expression has found six instances where there are five non-space characters in a row, but you only wanted it to find the words learn and smart. You might wonder why this expression didn't find, for example, asp.n, sp.ne, and p.net. When the regular expression is executed, it searches for consecutive strings of five characters that are not spaces. c -sharp searches for the first instance and finds learn. It then continues from the end of learn and finds asp.n. It then continues from the end of asp.n and finds visua, and so on. Now you're going to modify your regular expression so that it only finds complete words that are five letters long. Change the regular expression to backslash b, begin square brackets, caret, space, end square brackets, begin curly brackets, five, end curly brackets, backslash b. Backslash B is a special code that matches word boundaries, that is, the beginning or end of a word. Test the regular expression now, and as you can see, the two five-letter words are matched correctly. Finally, you're going to modify your regular expression so that it also matches the word method. To do this, First enclose the existing regular expression in brackets.
then add vertical bar, begin brackets, method, end brackets. This expression would work equally well without brackets, but they help to make the expression clearer. This regular expression will match anything that either matches the expression backslash b correct space 5 backslash b or matches the expression method. The vertical bar is an OR operator, which allows you to create expressions that match more than one set of criteria. OR operators are covered in session 7 of the Essential Skills course. Test the regular expression now. And as expected, method is now matched by your regular expression along with the two five-letter words. Close your web browser now, and close Visual Studio. You've now completed Lesson 11.2 Create a regular expression to extract words from text.